Um, besides chronic mental stress, that's not good for you. But biological stress, making your muscles a little bit concerned or your brain, this is called hormesis. Uh, think of hormesis as what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And we have these defenses. The genes that we work on are called sirtuins. There are seven of those genes in our body. They're found in all life forms, even plants. And there are other longevity genes. There's one called mTOR, which senses amino acids and protein. And then there's a third main pathway called AMPK, which the drug metformin, a diabetes drug, works on. And together, those three pathways will sense whether you're in trouble. So how do you fool your body into thinking times are not easy, times could be tough? Well, one is we talk about eating less. Eating less tells your body, wow, we might be running out of food. That's pretty easy. Turns on defenses. Uh, running mimics getting chased by another tribe or a saber-toothed tiger. Uh, that's pretty good. Um, lifting weights is another way. I, I do mostly that. I go to the gym a few times a week uh, and work out and stretch and just make sure that my, my muscles don't atrophy. That's essential for mobility and safety in older age. The type of food you eat is important. Uh, for instance, olive oil. So olive oil, you know, you can roll your eyes. Yeah, it's in, it's in the Mediterranean diet. It's in, uh, it's in um, salad dressings. But what has been found molecularly is that it activates a particular defensive enzyme that we work on called SIRT1, one of these sirtuins. The same way that the red wine molecule, resveratrol, works. I'll show you. So this is a typical breakfast for me. It's a couple of spoonfuls of, of low fat yogurt, uh, plain yogurt with some resveratrol and some NMN thrown in. Uh, I could have very well eaten a spoonful of olive oil and probably had a similar effect. So those kinds of things in your Mediterranean diet, those plant based molecules are also telling your body times might be tough. Now you might, might ask, why would olive oil tell your body that times it could be tough? Um, well, it turns out that oleic acid, which is in olive oil, is also generated by our own bodies when we're hungry. When our fat breaks down, we make oleic acid, and that's the signal for our bodies to fight disease. And we're just lucky that it's also found in foods that we like. <laughs>